when you let the light shine on the leeches. Ooh, they, swim, they don't like the light. They'll get them swim. You know what you do with these things when we're done with them? What you? You about screamed, didn't you? This close. You came that close to screaming when I popped that thing in my mouth, especially yeah. if I go. Hey, Beckett, here we are again at Faraday Studios. And this one I do, even though it's been around for, I don't know, I think I saw this myself in the seventh grade. You know, that was about 10 years ago. And boy, when I first saw this, I screamed. I just screamed, I go, yeah! And you've probably seen this. This is a standard old science teacher thing. I don't think I have. You don't have anything no, here? Have. Well, see, what do I have here on the tabletop? Just describe it. Well, you got some club soda. So, club soda, and I kind of can't soda. say the name of, of a, nope. uh, you know, some dew from a mountain, I guess, yeah. is what it is. Some I don't know what it is. Big, giant tweezers. Big, giant tweezers. I call them forceps. That's a cylinder. Cylinder. And since this one doesn't have any marks on it, they're usually they're a graduated cylinder. But you just need a tall glass. But you could also do it in a, you know, drinking glass. And some, what are these? Raisins. Raisins, just old chunks of grape, right? Yep. And as in a backup situation, a little uh, baking soda. If everything goes well, you don't need this, but I'll explain why we have it. I have some baking soda just in case these raisins don't work. We can uh, jazz them up a little bit for the second. And then a piece of cloth, this is just for effect. Because these are imaginary creatures that we're making here. Now I've called this my whole teaching career sewer leeches. Sewer leeches, okay. Doesn't that sound good? Sewer leeches? It, it depends on your definition of good. This one incorporates a little bit of uh, storytelling. I use sewer leeches because it gets everybody grossed out. People haven't seen this, they go nuts. See now just imagine the sewer and the water going through the sewer. Yuck. What, what, do you, what color? Just picture this in your mind. What does that sewer water look like? It's brown. Brownish. So what we're gonna use, it's gotta be carbon. So would you take some of this uh, dew from the mountains and pour it in here? Yeah, okay. this is good because the color of this, just, you know, what do you think? Yeah, it's good. Getting there like sewer water? Yeah. Now, if you happen to have a, have a liquid that doesn't have much carbonation or stirring, you can also, I use uh, club soda. Because club soda really has a lot of carbon dioxide dissolved in it. Ooh, did you hear that hiss? It's really some power. It's got a lot, uh, a lot of CO2 in there. And that's what those bubbles are, right? Yeah. CO2. So now we've got this column of sewer water, right? And these are the creatures. The leeches. These are the leeches. Now these are not full grown leeches. Oh, these are in the pupil leeches. stage, you know, because there are different stages of life, right? Yeah. Here's a little bit of science, a little bit of science. You could also do this in a glass. Yeah. We're just gonna do it in here. Let's, let's put some in a glass while we're at it. Here, you, I'll pour this in, you pour in some of that other. And we'll take a few raisins and uh, most of the time they'll sink. Ooh, look what they're doing. Mine are semi-sinking. Semi-sinking. What's going on is that uh, there's carbon dioxide dissolved in the liquid, right? They, yes. They're under pressure. And on the surface of the raisin are little crystals of sugar. And those are called nucleation sites and the bubbles form on those. So that when you first look at this, if I tell everybody that I've got some baby sewer leeches that I captured, you know, with a net in the sewer, and I've got, they don't like the light. When you let the light shine on the leeches, they don't like the light, they'll get them swim. They look gross, doesn't it? Yeah, real gross, real, real gross. Now you think sewer water, what do, you, what do you think that is? Those little brown things, yeah, I'm not even gonna go there. But you're thinking, oh. Yeah. And see, they're swimming, going up and getting some air, right? Mm hmm So what's really making that swim up and down? Because the, when they get up there, the air is released and then they go back the down. The bubbles break, yeah. And then they get some more bubbles and then they go back up. And sometimes, if you take careful observement, they go up and they roll around because the bubbles break on one side and then it makes them spin. You make a lot of observations with this. Like, why does it go up there? Why does it stay for a while? You see the bubbles pop. You can do all that kind of stuff if you want to. The molecules are finding a point. They call them nucleation points where they can kind of gather. They'll eventually get big enough cluster of them, they'll make a bubble and the bubble gets pushed up by the water. What's making the bubbles go up? They're less dense than the water, so, so the water pushes The up. water pushes the bubbles up, right? Yep. My favorite thing to do with these is if somebody actually believes these are sewer leeches in their larval stage, yep. you could say, what do you think those guys would be eating if they were real? They would be eating sewage. sewage stuff, right? Sewage, yep. Yeah, and you could describe, and where are those bubbles coming from? Well, that's you know, the decay of the garbage, and you, you could actually come up with believable scenarios. And you can describe the life cycle of these imaginary creatures. How do they reproduce? What do they eat? What's the life expectancy of these things? Why do they do better when you have a rag over them? Well, they don't. 
but they're so used to the dark, you'd say, so you can make up a story about that. But what I particularly, you know what my favorite thing to do is? Hmm. If you have, actually have somebody in the class or in the group that thinks they are alive just for a second, is that you catch one. Come on, come on. Oh, we oh. And you pull it out and you go, oh, look. You know what you do with these things when we're done with them? What you? And everybody's screaming. You about screamed, didn't you? This close. You came that close to screaming when I popped that thing in my mouth, especially yeah. if I go from tongue to tongue. Oh, that's good stuff. In case you happen to get some uh, raisins, they're old or something, and they're not working too well. It's kind of a dud. You can help it a little bit by just taking some baking soda and rubbing it on the uh, outside of the raisin to give it some nucleation sites. That doesn't taste very good. If you get some old dry, hard raisins or something like that, you know, and they're not getting enough bubbles on the outside, you can just, uh, I put way too much on there, but you can powder your raisins. And, so there you go. Sewer leeches, that's what I'm saying. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. Okay.